Hi guys, I'm Darren and in this video I want to share a couple of tips with the latest versions of iNav which may save you a bit of bother. So with this, my Baby AR Pro is already plugged in, we're going to go straight to the CLI in iNav. Now, first of all, this is iNav 8, but don't worry about it. We're basically talking about iNav 7, 7.1 here. So the first thing that I want to talk about is people having issues being able to arm if they've got a decent satellite lock. So they could have six plus satellites, all 3D fixed. They could have a very low HDOP, but they still can't arm. And there's one setting that seems to randomly change. Um, when I say randomly, it's not something that iNav is doing itself. It seems to be some configurations have this setting wrong. Um, we don't really know where. We've seen this come up a lot with people with Speedy B flight controllers. So possibly it's in the default settings on some of these. But um, we've also seen people with a brand new Speedy B flight controller and not had the problem. So. If you do have this problem, there is an issue on GitHub in the iNav uh, firmware area. So if you have this problem, find it and let people know what flight controller you're using, whether it was a brand new flight controller out of the packet, stuff like that would be really, really useful to try and identify where this bug is happening. But what we're gonna do is go into the CLI and type get EPH. Now, this has got like an automatic completion. I think that was added in 7.1, but if not, the command we're looking for in full is inav underscore max underscore eph underscore epv. So if you haven't got this, the autocomplete, just type that in. I'll put it in the video description so you've got it. And you can see when we get this value, it is set to 1000. This is the correct value. This is the default. It's what you want to be using. So if it's if it's set to a thousand, you're good to go. It's not, not a problem. However, quite a few people have typed this in and discovered it's set to one. Now, if it's set to one, it's going to be impossible to arm. So what we need to do is just set this back to a thousand. So again, I will put this in the video description. So we're just going to do set inav underscore max underscore eph underscore evp to one thousand. So there we go. Once we've set that, it will all be good. Let's take a look at the other problem. Now, this is the whole reason that iNav 7.1.2 came about. There was a default that was changed. And I, I can't remember if, if it was iNav 7.1.0 or iNav 7.1.1, but a setting was changed. So if you're on any of those two versions, I would recommend updating to iNav 7.1.2. But Potentially, if you're on 7.1.1, you don't need to do the update, but you should check the setting. I would actually recommend that everyone checks this setting anyway, even if they've done the update, just in case there's something in your diff file that didn't allow it to actually change this setting. So what we're going to do is type get barrow. And again, just in case the autocomplete isn't working, we are looking for inav underscore use underscore gps underscore no underscore barrow so if i do that git you'll see it's set to off which is the setting that you want to use i think this was changed for some of the quad navigation without a compass and it's something that you don't really need to turn off the whole reason behind it was in some cases the gps can give you a better altitude reading than the barometer but you have to have a lot of satellites locked, very good fixes, low HDOP. There's a whole host of parameters that need to be right before this will give you a decent value. So I would recommend leaving this off, which sounds backwards, but it's actually no barometer. So if no barometer is on, it means there's no barometer. If no barometer is off, it means you're using the barometer. So we want this off. And we'll let the weighting decide what has got the most accurate altitude. If you see this set to on, we're going to do set inav underscore use underscore GPS underscore no underscore barrow equals off. That is the setting that you want to be using. And of course, we're going to do a save. I'll put both of those settings in the video description so you can do a copy and paste. But yeah, check them out. Make sure that they're all good for you and then happy flying. Thank you for watching the video guys. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up 
and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon that will help get this video out to more people so they can learn about these potential issues too and make sure that everything is okay on their systems thanks for watching guys fly your models like you stole them and enjoy the summer bye bye